So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that just given the length of it. I could be wrong. Um, I do see some ordered pairs here as I glance through this, so we, we may do some other things. But usually a question of this length, four or more lines long, means we're going to have to translate somewhere um, in the question and get some information that's not explicitly listed here in our question. So the first sentence here says the function of f, or sorry, the function f is defined by f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants. The graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane passes through the points 7, 0, and negative 3, 0. So first of all, if I were to graph this, right, so using like a plug-in picture type of strategy, I know that at negative 3, so 1, 2, 3, negative 3, and at positive 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, I'd have two points on the actual x-axis, right? So I know this is going to be a parabola. And there's actually something hidden in that information. So if these are my points that are that are uh, that are symmetrical to each other, negative three here, then I actually know where the vertex is in terms of the x-axis. At least I know I know the x value of the vertex. The x value of the vertex is always found by this ratio, negative b over 2a, so we'll just say negative b over 2a is equal to the x, x, and I'll just say parentheses, vertex, okay? Um, and that value has to be halfway between these two points, right? It has to be halfway between our x-intercepts. So that value has to be, so if this distance here is 10, that value has to be 5, 5 away from either edge, but we'll go from the left side. So five away will give us to two. So again, I don't know exactly where in terms of y value my x value for the vertex is, but I do know that it has to be two. So let's say let's say it was here. Um, and therefore, a parabola will look something like this. Okay. So again, the x value of the vertex has to be halfway between the two x-intercepts. Um, for a parabola. That's just something that we need to understand and recognize. It has to be halfway between there. So we know that that has to be 2, which means that negative b over 2a has to equal positive 2. Let's keep reading. If a is an integer greater than 1, which is good, that means that our parabola is facing upward, right? because that makes it positive. If a were negative, it would face down. So if a is an integer greater than 1, which of the following could be the value of a plus b? Hmm. Well, a plus b. So we're trying to find a plus b. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so all I really know is I know this, which I had to kind of figure out. So I'm liking that I figured this out because, again, this whole idea of a longer question being a translate word problem question means that typically there's something there that you have to kind of figure out and suss out that's not, that's not uh, provided directly. Let me simplify this for a. So if I were to multiply both sides of this equation here by 2a, the denominator in the fraction, I get negative b is equal to 4a. I can then divide both sides by 4, and I'd have a is equal to negative b over 4. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep it as. I'm going to keep it the other way. Actually, I think I see how to answer this question. So negative b equals 4a. Um, so if negative b is 4a and I'm trying to find I'm trying to find a plus b, then that means b would equal negative 4a, and that means a plus b would be a minus 4a, right? Because again, b because b is equal to negative 4a. So I'm looking for a minus 4a. Well, a minus 4a is negative 3a. Okay. So I think we're getting somewhere. So negative 3a. So what again do I know about a? I know that a is an integer greater than 1. So looking at my answer choices, if a has to be greater than 1, can I have a positive answer here? No, I cannot, right? a has to be positive. A positive times a negative will always give us a negative answer. So c and d are gone. So then uh, how could I get choice b? Well, choice b, negative 3, could be the answer. If a equaled 1, right, if I had negative 3 times positive 1, that would give me choice b. But the question again says if a is an integer greater than 1. 
So B is gone for that reason. So A, choice A, is the only remaining answer. And that would be if A were equal to 2. It fits all rules. It's an integer greater than 1. So that works. Um, so that's how we would get negative 6. We'd have a negative 3 times a positive 2, which gives us negative 6. So this is not a very straightforward math-heavy way to solve this question. I think I really leaned in to the idea that I need to translate everything. Um, there was nothing really to translate from here. You know, telling me these are constants is great. Nothing really to translate from there. Um, knowing these points is something I can translate from, right? I can draw this graph here knowing that I have negative 3 and positive 7 at x, at x intercepts. And then that is what tells me that I have this 2 here as the x value of my vertex. And that's what gets me onto this path, right? So we kind of have to know this, right? The negative b over 2a gets us to the x value of the vertex. And then from there, it was just plugging into what the question actually asks us for, right? So it asks us for a plus b. And again, it tells us that a has to be greater than one. And then just logically, that only points us to choice a as the only logical answer.